things the women of Saudi Arabia are prohibited from doing. Driving In 2017 September, the king of the country announced that a new law has been passed which will allow women to drive from June, 2018. But a woman still requires her guardian's permission to drive. Women have been protesting against the ban since the year 1990 and it has finally paid off almost a decade later. Public transport For women, taking a train is allowed only in Riyadh where there is a separate car located at the end of the train. Women in this country have to walk or use a personal driver as many of them are refused by bus drivers and other public transportation. Many regions consider a woman hailing a cab without a guardian as immoral. Clothes Women cover their entire bodies except their face, hands and feet. A head covering known as a hijab as well as a black abaya which is a long dress with sleeves are the only things that they can wear. The clothes have to be made of extremely thick fabric. They have to be really baggy as they are not supposed to highlight a woman's curves. Many parts of the city require a woman to wear an akab which is a face covering cloth which has a slit through which only the eyes can be visible. However, the strictness of these rules differs from city to city. And if a woman's modesty is taken advantage of, the revealing nature of the clothes can prove a woman guilty. College education Although higher education is not prohibited, it isn't considered as necessary. The percentage of women with education is higher than that of men, the quality of the education provided to women is far from good. Provided a woman does get a scholarship, she needs a guardian's permission to study abroad. Many Saudi women are known to study a science-related field or teaching but they do not work after completing college. Career Only 12% of the women used to work in the private sector till 2011. Now, the number has changed and drastically increased and was 34.4% in 2019. The government has absorbed 28% of women in its workforce this year. But the range in career paths is quite limiting as women can just be educators, nurses and doctors. Women find it greatly difficult to make a career as they are paid lesser than compared to men. As if an employer wants to hire a woman, they will have to spend a lot of money in separate offices and restrooms and even entrances. Love Girls are often married of before they reach puberty. The government has recommended that the ideal age of a woman to be married is 15. But they even permit girls of younger ages than that. Forced marriages are considered to be prohibited but there is a contract made between the father of the bride and the groom-to-be. If a woman wants to get married with the one she loves, she is required to get permission from her guardian. And if her partner is a foreigner, she has to get permission from the Ministry of the Interior. Marrying a non-Muslim is as good as impossible. Answering the door The country is known to have two entrances in most of their houses. One is usually for the men and the other for women. A woman will never answer the door and men can visit only the other half of the house where the door for the men's entrance leads. Sports The women of this country were prohibited from representing their country in the Olympic Games until the year 2012. The government was pressured to make this decision by the International Olympic Committee. But it is very difficult to build a career in sports for women as they do not get any athletic scholarships and it is also frowned upon in the eyes of the public. Many women are not allowed to use most of the sports equipment. Gender inequality A man's word against a woman's is two times more valuable in this country. In order to file a lawsuit, a woman is supposed to procure six male witnesses. This is based on tribal traditions and not the law. If a child's father is a foreigner, he can never become a citizen of the country. A man can receive up to two times more inheritance however, a woman is not even considered in this list.